you get uh, the next example, right? Example 3. Two positions of a dice are shown below. When 3 is at the bottom, what number will be at the top? So here again two positions are shown and we are supposed to find out what comes opposite to 3. When 3 is at the bottom, what will be at the top? Now here the difference is instead of numbers, dots have been given, like a general uh, dice that we have. Now what do we see here? 5, 3, 2 and here it is 5, 2, 4. Right? Now the point here is, like I said, the method that we have discussed, writing numbers in the clockwise direction from a common number and then finding out opposite is very very easy. But that is applicable only when both the dice have got only one common number. Here if you observe, 5 is common in both the sides and also 2 is common. Right? You see 5 and 5, 2 and 2. So in that case, if you try to go by that method, you will get stuck. For example, let's say writing these numbers in clockwise direction. So we have 5, then 3 and then we have 2. Here again, if you start from 5, we have 5, and then we have 2, and then we have 4. It is not possible. You see, 3 is opposite to 2 in one way, and then 2 is opposite to 4. How can it be possible? 2 cannot be opposite to both 3 and 4. So the point is, it is uh, suggested not to apply this method when two faces are common. Then how do we answer this question? Very simple. See, when two faces are common, it becomes even more easier. The point here is 5 and 2, and 5 and 2. If you understand, for two common faces, the third face in both the dice should be opposite. For example, here for 5 and 2, the adjacent face is 3. For 5 and 2 here, the adjacent face is 4. 3 is opposite to 4. As simple as that. Because understand, when two of the faces are common, this is 5. Let's say top is 5 and this side is 2. What are the adjacent faces for these two faces? One will be in, in the front and the other will be behind them. That's it. There's no other common face, right? Two are already common. 5 and 2, 5 and 2, 5 and 2 are connected. Here 5 and 2 is connected to 3, on the other side 5 and 2 is connected to 4. So it is obvious that 3 and 4 are opposite. Just try to visualize this, again spatial visualization. So 3 is opposite to 4. So this point again is very important. When you find two faces common in the given two positions, the third faces in both the positions have to be opposite. The third face here is 3, third face here is 4. So 3 is opposite to 4. Now what does the question say? If 3 is at the bottom, what number will be at the top? 4 will be at the top. And 4 here is not given. So option 5, none of this is the answer. Let's look at the next example. 